While this winter weather may have been fun at first, cabin fever is starting to set in. News Channel 5's Andrea Klein Thomas joins us live from Green Hills Mall. Retail therapy always a wonderful option, Andrea. Yeah, Vicki, I agree with you on that one. And people aren't just coming in here to stay warm and just walk around. They are here to shop. They've got plenty of bags in their hands. Now, the mall reopened at noon today. We were here about 1230, and we only saw a few dozen people. That is increase over the last few hours. This was the first day the city came back alive after practically being shut down for two days. And it wasn't a moment too soon for some shoppers who had serious cabin fever. Unfortunately for me, my cable and my internet went out, so I've been at home <laughs> with absolutely nothing to do. So I've been like bored out of my mind, absolutely bored. And security passed by me. They were putting up these signs. The mall is closing at 5 o'clock today. Officials don't know when or if the mall will reopen tomorrow. Now, something else that shut down? Schools, which is making it difficult for parents who at this point have pretty restless children. We talked to a lot of parents today. We'll tell you where they went so they can get some of this energy out. That's coming up at 5. For now, reporting live from the mall at Green Hills, I'm Andrea Klein-Thomas, News Channel 5 HD.